Thanks so much uh, for being with us. How pivotal have some of the changes been in sports in India in the last few years? So I think uh, for any sport, heroes is extremely important. And you know, a big reason why Indian sports in so many disciplines other than cricket have really not excelled at the world stage is because India has lacked heroes. So I think the 2008 Olympic Games where Vijinder Singh won a bronze medal uh, for India in boxing really drove the imagination of boxing uh, amongst Indians. And then obviously in 2012 when Saina won a bronze at the London Olympics in badminton uh, or Americom won a bronze in women's boxing, it really came alive that uh, you know these sports became extremely popular and now any kid in Bhivani who's uh, running around wants to be the next Vijinder or any uh, person in the Northeast, any lady or woman wants to be a, a boxer. And then obviously uh, you have <coughs> great uh, Bollywood movies also that have come out. Uh, Dangal which was about the Fogart sisters has really driven the inspiration or driven the imagination of the youth that Haryana which is known to be the most sexist uh, place in the world can produce uh, women wrestlers who are beating the boys and the way that Amir Khan showed that movie uh, you know so I, I would say that success at the Olympic Games uh, in both 2008-2012 has really uh, you know moved Indian sport. You're doing a lot of course to groom some of these young athletes for the Olympics. So you know um, growing up as a child sport was a very big factor in my life and in my upbringing and uh, it's when I went to boarding school in England that I really understood the power of sport and I remember very clearly it was 2008 I was in boarding school and the Olympics were, uh, were, were going on in Beijing and just a few weeks before that uh, India had just won the T20 World Cup in cricket and uh, I remember sitting in the room with 17 English uh, cricket mates of mine we were all on the cricket team and going absolutely crazy when uh, Yuvraj hit Stuart Broad for six sixes and you know it was one of the most amazing moments uh, you know and then just a few weeks later uh, come the Beijing Olympics which was the breakthrough Olympic Games for Great Britain where they had the most number of medals on uh, that they had ever won and there my friends looked at me and were like you know, don't you guys have 1.2 billion people? Where, where are the medals? We never make it because India lacks three vital, Indian athletes lack three vital things. We lack infrastructure, we lack the adequate sports science know-how and we lack the adequate training, uh, coaching. We dreamt of building India's first uh, privately run Olympic training centre and which is now, uh, it took us four years to, you know, visit all the high performance centres across the world and uh, decide what we're going to do, which sports we're going to target uh, and then now we've selected five sports uh, boxing, wrestling, judo, track and field and swimming and we've invested over 100 crores in building this facility uh, and now we have 240 athletes uh, from the age of 8 all the way to your senior athletes uh, training. I hope that people watching this, uh, you know, uh, con can contribute in any way to uh, to the IIS or to Indian Olympics because I think we all as a country underestimate the power of the Olympic Games and we keep talking about soft power and Olympics is one way in which you can really derive soft power. What about football? That's of course your big passion so let's talk about the latest there. No, so I think uh, similar, similar, you know, with football, the story is kind of similar. Again, um, you know, growing up uh, very, very uh, passionate about football, uh, but not about Indian football. I, you know, like everyone else, uh, love to watch the English Premier League, I love to watch the La Liga. And I've grown up as a big Arsenal fan. Uh, so, you know, I, you know, disproportionately uh, involved in Arsenal at many levels. And my father could not never understand. He's like, you're from Mumbai. This club is somewhere in London. Uh, why do you care so much about uh, this club? And I, there was no real good reason to give him. It's just that I, you know, I loved football or loved watching them play. Uh, so it, this was in 2012. Uh, you know, we were discussing football, and he was like, you know, part you, 
every weekend you're watching Arsenal and you're uh, either crying or really happy when they do well or they lose. Can you name even five Indian football players? So I said, Dad, I, I can maybe Bai Chung Bhutia or you know, Sunil Chetri, that's it. So he said, by the way, Bai Chung retired a long time back and Sunil Chetri is playing, so well done, you can name one. He's like, why don't you do something for Indian football? And why don't we dream as Indians to see our team uh, represent, you know, India in the World Cup? So we started, uh, you know, and we looked at many ways of uh, getting involved with football. One was just investing in the youth academies and, you know, the youth. Uh, the other was owning a team in, in a league, in, in the Indian League, in the I League. Uh, so we went down that path. We started uh, Bengaluru FC. And the sole intention of starting Bengaluru FC was we want to help Indian football improve. So we want our players of Bengaluru FC to become the Indian players. And over the last four years, you know, it's, it's a great thing that 11 out of 18 players who are in the national team are from Bengaluru FC or have played for Bengaluru FC over the last four years. And, you know, we've, when we started, uh, India's football rank was 170th in the world. Now we're in the 90s. Uh, there's been a sharp improvement and now we've moved from the I-League to the ISL. Uh, we've opened a youth academy, uh, residential youth academy, which is in tandem with our Olympic Institute, all at the same complex, uh, where we're training the young, the next gen of uh, footballers. And our aim is the same. We want India to continuously improve in the, in the FIFA ranking. We've qualified for the 2019 Asia Cup now, India has for the first time since 2012. And uh, the dream there is the same. We want India to one day uh, reach the World Cup and whichever way, however we can contribute, uh, we're trying to do that through Bengaluru FC. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.